Hi, welcome to another video. Some days ago, Gemma 2 was launched with two variants, a 9B and a 27B variant. It performed very well in benchmarks, but when I tested it, it failed almost all my questions. This obviously means that it's only trained on benchmark questions. Now, Google has launched another model, and this time, it's an even smaller 2 billion parameter model. They claim it beats Mixtral 8x7B GPT 3.5 Turbo, Llama 2, and Gemma 1.1. But I don't understand this. Recently, GPT 4 O Mini was launched, and that model claimed to beat GPT 3.5 Turbo. That model is supposed to be something like a 70B or 100B model. But now this 2B parameter model is claiming to beat that. This just seems very unreal to me. I think they have again done the same thing by training the model on benchmarks and fabricating the numbers. I don't understand why they have to do this every time. They haven't even shared any benchmarks for it. They have only shared the ELO score to make people think it's better than others, which is just a very manipulative move by Google. I mean, they could have compared it to something in its range, like Phi 3. But they just want to mislead people into thinking it's on par with models 100 times its size. Also, I think this might just be the Eureka chatbot that we tried on LM size in the four secret models test, because that's where they got the ELO score from. To give you a heads up, in the previous test I did on the Eureka model, it failed almost every test. Anyway, the model is available on Alama for local usage and on NVIDIA NIM's platform for trying it out. So, if you want, you can configure it locally and use it. But I don't want to do that. So, let's test it out through the NVIDIA NIM's platform. These are the nine questions I'm going to try it against. Let's start. The first question is, what is the number that rhymes with the word we use to describe a tall plant? The answer should be three. Let's send it and check. Okay, here's the answer. It answers fine, although it gives the word tree instead of the number. But when I follow up, it gives the correct answer. So, it's a pass. The next question is, I have two apples, then I buy two more. I bake a pie with two of the apples. After eating half of the pie, how many apples do I have left? The answer to this should be two. So, let's send it and check. Let's send it over here. Okay, here's the answer, and it doesn't answer this question correctly. So, this one's a fail. Now, the next question is, Sally is a girl. She has three brothers. Each of her brothers has the same two sisters. How many sisters does Sally have? The answer to this should be one. So, let's send it and check if it works. Here's the answer, and it also doesn't answer this correctly. So, this one's also a fail. The next question is, if a regular hexagon has a short diagonal of 64, what is its long diagonal? The answer to this should be 73.9. Let's send it and check. Okay, here's the answer. This is not correct. So, this one's also a fail. The next question is, Create an HTML page with a button that explodes confetti when you click it. You can use CSS and JS as well. Let's send and see if it can make it or not. Okay, here's the answer. Let's preview this code. Okay, so this one doesn't work as expected. So, this one's a fail. The next question is, write a Python function that prints the next 20 leap years. Reply with only the function. Let's send it and check. Okay, here's the code. Let's run it. So, this one doesn't work either. It doesn't print anything. So, this one's a fail. The next question is, generate the SVG code for a butterfly. Let's see if it can make it or not. Okay, here's the code. Let's preview it. So, this doesn't look anything like a butterfly. So, 
This one's also a fail. The next question is, write an HTML page. This HTML page is a landing page for an AI company. They prefer a modern and minimal looking interface with animations. Let's send it and check. Okay, here's the code. Let's preview it. Okay, this isn't anything good, but because it has done what was asked, I'll keep this a pass. The next question is, write a game of life in Python that works on the terminal. I don't think it will be able to do this, but let's see anyway. Okay, here's the code. Let's run it. So, this doesn't work and gives an error. So, this one's also a fail. Now here's the final chart. And as you can see, this looks nothing good. I mean, they have compared this model with Llama 2 70B GPT 3.5 Turbo, which is obviously insanely better than this. I mean, it even wasn't able to create the leap year function, which almost any model can do these days. See, I don't think that this model is bad considering its size. And it would have been great if Google had compared it to Quen 215 5B or Microsoft's Phi 3 Mini. But it just doesn't make sense for a company of that scale to compare it with insanely bigger models that it obviously won't be able to beat, but show the world that it beats them, which is really very crazy. They just want to have multiple tweets about how this small model is better than 100x its size, but actually it isn't, and make people think it's good so that they can tell people they contribute to open source and stuff like that. So, I'm just comparing it with the models they compare it with. And in that case, it's the worst model. I wouldn't recommend you even try it out. But, if you want then, you can go to NVIDIA NIMs or download it from Olama and check it out. I mean, it really frustrates me that Gemma 2 is downloaded much more than Quen 2 or even Llama 3.1. I mean, who are these people downloading it? But anyway, if you're looking for a smaller model, try the Quen 2 1.5B or Phi 3 Mini. You'll be able to run these models on almost all types of devices, which is obviously very cool. Overall, the Gemma 2 2B model is not very cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.